All right, so that's what I'm dealing with right now. Um, I have literally run an entire set of tires off this trailer within the last, I don't know, month, month and a half. All right, y'all, welcome back to another one. So just uh, just ran to town real quick, dropped off them tires uh, and rims. I'm, I'm gonna have a, I gotta get a new set of tires put on them, them rims for the trailer. Uh, I am just about to head back up to it be northern Wisconsin for the second giveaway winner. So I just got back a day or two ago from the adult youth uh, giveaway winner. Had an awesome time with them out in Ohio. Um, and I've got to leave tomorrow to go up to the uh, the giveaway winner and he is in northern Wisconsin. So, uh, old trailer, times are hard y'all. I'm staying in my trailer whenever I go do this. It's just the, the price of uh, uh, hotels and everything else. It's just cheaper this way. but. Now we gotta have a new set of tires. I've run an entire set of tires off that thing, dragging it through all the wind and everything. Anyway, so while I was out to the giveaway winners, back behind my house, I uh, I had some Spy Point Flex trail cameras, and uh, the whole time I was out there, I was getting pictures. And these these were set up for deer. These are down in the woods. These are not set up on the edge of the field. But the whole time I was out there, I was getting these pictures of coyotes run through. Um, now I got to leave tomorrow, so we got one night to do this, but I got four different coyotes on this trail cam running through last night, and uh, I'm trying to get packed up and re-ready, because uh, it rained all day yesterday, so I didn't have time to get everything drug out in the open, but uh, anyway, we're going to run back there and try to make two sets on that trail camera and try to catch one of those coyotes tonight. So I got to pull the traps tomorrow, because I'm leaving tomorrow midday, but hopefully we get it done, and now it it's starting to snow on me. We got like four and a half inches of rain. It's been dry all year, and then we got four and a half inches of rain over the last day and a half. And uh, it's going to get down to like I think the low 20s, high teens tonight. Now it's starting to rain. So, I don't know. So you can see my truck is just a disaster. I'm still trying to unpack, get ready. Um, but I just loaded up my pack basket. It's about a 400-yard walk in there to where that trail camera is. So we're going to go lightweight uh, as much as possible. Taking some dry dirt. And we're going to go try to set that, but now it's starting to sleet and snow. All right, we got to get going. Here. All right, y'all. So we made it down here in these bottoms. This is, this is timber. This is, this is big timber here. Um, no fields or nothing. So anyway, that is the trail camera right there. That's a Spy Point Flex. Um, you can see the pictures. Right here's the trail that they're coming through, this log. You can see the trail right there. And uh, that is what that is what I'm gonna set on. They're kind of running crossways, and I, you know, you can see them standing on that log. So I'm not taking. <laughs> we're gonna set right where I saw them. Um, the cool thing about that spy point is I've got it set on picture mode now. But uh, I'll show you in a minute. We can uh, we can change it to video mode real easy. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna put in two sets here. Um, I, I want to get my. I want to get. You know, best I can here. I got two sets that I'm gonna use. I'm gonna stick in right there. You can see my stuff right there, and uh, I'm gonna put another set just over there. But we're gonna put two sets pretty close proximity, and uh, and see what we can do. We've got one night to do this, and even if we don't catch tomorrow night, we're gonna get a few days of seeing how these coyotes react to a set being made. I think that's gonna be cool too. So let me get my stuff set up. And uh, I'm just going to punch in just a just a step down set and use that log for backing um, is all I'm going to do. Real easy. All right, she's asleep, but we're going to go ahead and put this set in. So this is this is like I said, this is four or five hundred yards into this. So we don't have any drills, we don't have any nothing. We're we're going old school. We got a shovel and a hammer, and, and that's it. I did bring wax dirt. Um, like I said, this ground is wet. It's going to get super cold, but. Uh, other than that, we're uh, we're just gonna put in just a standard step down set. All right, so I know these coyotes are coming through here because I've seen them on the trail camera. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take and and dig out with this my trowel here, and we're gonna we're gonna dig out an area. It's kind of kind of oriented in the way that they're traveling as best I can. I don't want to... 
Alright, a lot of roots in there. A lot of geese. All right. So I want to make this set look like something's been digging out underneath here. I gotta deal with all these roots. You know, don't be worried about putting dirt right here. Let's see if you guys can see. But you know, don't get too worried about putting a pound of dirt right here because, uh, you know, that's just natural the way to dig is to pile the dirt up behind you. So, take my trowel. Make me a, make me a hole down in there. So like I said, this is, if this doesn't catch, it's going to get pulled. But this set's going to stay while I'm gone. The set with no trap. And we're going to be able to see see how the coyote looks at it. Well, it is really coming down. Okay. So, Duke 550. Put that right in the ground there. Got lucky he didn't hit no roots, that's good. Okay. Set that trap. Now like I said, it's cold. We're gonna keep this trap from freezing down low. So we're gonna put some wax dirt in the bottom. Use a pan plug here, pipe insulation. Bring that trap down a night latch. Get that trap kind of settled down in there. You know, one of the beauties about using this uh, this step down is that you know you don't have to trap if you're a little off. Which this is pretty pretty solid bedding even in this wax dirt. But. I'm going to go ahead and cover that trap up. Go make sure it's solid. You know I'm only doing this one night. I'm <laughs> still acting like it's going to stay there for days. Right. There we go. Got the edges of that pan. You know, I'm probably two, three inches down, but it's super steep. So that way the coyote, you know, he doesn't want to step right there. He wants to step on that flat area. And that's it. Let me, I'm going to make another set um, just over the way here. And uh, and then we'll bait them up and I'll show them to you here in a minute. But same set, just a little different location. All right, so there we go. That's the set. You can see steep angles on that trench. Kind of use that log for backing, but most importantly, right in front of that trail camera. And right on the trail. I mean, right on that trail. That's where they're walking down. So, I'm gonna come right here. I think that's still within, that's still on this trail. And I still think I can see it in the trail camera. We're gonna make another set. So. We're going to have these two sets about 10 feet apart. All right, so there we have it. There's set number one right on that log, right in front of the trail camera. And there is set number two right there. This is a kind of a modified trail trench set. I don't know. I've been playing around a little bit with stuff. Um, 
anyway it's right on that trail so we got two sets right on the trail and they are probably about eight feet apart uh, both within shot of the camera so anyway we'll see we'll see what happens we got one night um, if it doesn't happen tonight I'm gonna come and I'm gonna pull these traps tomorrow but I'm gonna leave the set like it was and then hopefully we're gonna be able to see um, you know how the coyotes react to it and how they work it because that, that camera will be running uh, while I'm gone so anyway I got a one and a half and a dog proof and I I kept seeing a couple of coons over there whenever I was hunting so while I'm here I'm gonna go over there and set this big front moving through it's, it's kind of melted now was, I had to turn the camera off on that set because it was sleeting so bad but uh, anyway, might as well while we're here try to should take them out because I'm not gonna come back in here just for those coons but that should be cool right there all right, I'm gonna go set those real quick and then we'll uh, we'll get out of here. Hopefully my tires will be done by the time I get back. We're, be we're busy this year, y'all. We're, we're busy, we're grinding. All right, two more sets down. Um, I just put in, there's a one and a half. Right there. Get some of the bigger leaves out of the way. So there's a one and a half right there. You can almost see the, the trap. Uh, I got a dirt hole that I dug in right there and just anchored it off with one of my cable anchors to that tree um, pretty simple straightforward for a you know kind of a coon dirt hole set that'll take anything too that comes through here uh, but anyway this this big tree here they're not living in it because it just it's right there right there is just the top of it but the whole bottom of this tree is uh is hollowed out they're not like I said they're not living in it um, but I could see this from my deer stand and this is where I'd see him cross was right through here you can see there's a trail trail right there so I got a set right there and then right in this same same trail you can see the trail goes up there there's a big creek down there they're just running along the high bank of this creek I put a dog food there so I can just see the big hole in this tree from my stand like I said they're not living in it because um, it just goes just just right there there's no scat or anything but this was just a big focal point that I'd all stare at whenever I was in the stand so anyway we'll see what that produces it's probably um, I don't know, 60 yards or so from that those coyote sets. Like I said, I would never come back in here, walk 400 yards for a for a coon. But uh, I figure while I'm here, might as well see if we can't get them on the first night. They may move tonight. It's pretty nasty weather, so front's coming through. All right, we'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, so here we are the next day. It's uh, the afternoon. I'm pulling these sets because I've got to drive to Wisconsin tonight. So I gotta get moving. Uh, anyway, there's a set, untouched. Um, you guys saw the, the bobcat walked by it. He didn't work the set at all. Um, actually, you know, right there, right there is his track. So he just, he didn't even stop at it bait lure everything down the hole um, like I said that just goes to show not every animal is interested um, I have no problem with that you know we'll get him next time obviously I mean I'm happy we didn't get the bobcat because then I had to release it so anyway no big deal he just he just wandered on by you could see on the video um, but yeah nothing nothing happened so anyway I am going to pull these traps and I'm gonna leave the set kind of as is and we're going to see what's going to happen over the next couple of days so i'm really curious to see if something comes in and actually works it spends time at it um yeah like i said I, this is just cool experiment and these uh these spy point flexes they they really help you out or in this case eh, it's a teachable moment all right so right there's the dog proof that's the one that the coon came up to looked at it and turned away for whatever reason uh but anyway yeah just pulled that one and a half we're going to pull these get out of here I need these trail cameras for the giveaway um, so we can put them on sets but anyway we may be back there's still a pretty good trail here we got a late season we may have to do something with that other set we just came from but yeah fun little experiment I'm glad we got to see the stuff all right so there you have it um, you know I know a lot of people probably wouldn't show that uh, you know they want you to believe that 
that they're going to catch every critter that comes along and you know it's just they're just perfect and you know quite frankly that's that's just not how it works and you know for those of you that are that are doubting uh you know if those sets or the techniques that i used if they do work you know i don't need to justify it to you but all i can say is i've got 10 years and 350 plus videos that you can go look at uh and, and and see if you want to have some credentials if you want to call it that i mean i have i have caught you know well over a thousand coyotes with that one particular set and i have caught thousands and thousands of coons using those same those same methods uh you know my my point with this video here is if you're a new trapper getting into this i i think you can be bombarded a lot by you know everybody's everybody's showing you just success and, and and i'm telling you there's a lot of failure that comes with this i've been doing this for a long time and obviously i just had you know failure i mean it wasn't just that stuff i didn't catch anything it was that stuff actually walked by by the way you guys met tom um that was i'm pretty sure i've caught that bobcat twice i know i've seen him i'll throw a little video clip up from earlier this bow season and walking through right underneath that same stand because I can't draw a dang bobcat tag in Illinois, it seems like. But yeah, uh, I named him Tom. Um, but anyway, that, that's my bobcat. Uh, no, in all seriousness, though, guys, uh, I, I thought this was a cool video to, to show. And like I said, I'm not trying to hide anything. Um, you know, there are just as many critters that walk by your sets as get caught in them, I firmly believe. And, you know, now that with the use of, of trail cameras, you know, if you're in a land that has snow all the time, you, you see this. Uh, my, my area that I'm in, you know, you see some footprints in the mud and then you get the odd snow and it's really humbling. But, you know, to have trail cameras actually see that, it, it's very humbling. So I just wanted to share with you guys, if you're a new trapper getting into it, don't be discouraged. Um, you know, I did everything right, everything that I have preached for years uh, of how to do that. Those were good sets. They were set on sign. Literally, there was a coyote that passed by that log uh, 10 hours prior to it. Here's the, here's the kicker, though. I, I went on the giveaway. I'm filming this. Uh, this is just before Christmas. So it's been just over a week um, since all that took place. I have had that camera on those sets for that amount of time, I have not seen one predator come by. There has not been one canine, one bobcat, nothing. There's been a few deer come through there, but I have not seen anything else. So just because you set on sign, just because you make the good set, I mean, everything has to really align for you to be successful at this. And, and sometimes it just doesn't happen. This is a perfect example. So do not get discouraged. That's my whole point in this. Do not get discouraged. If you're seeing success from others, you're not having success. You know, it just, takes time it takes putting a lot of sets in the ground those were those were four sets right um you know my coyote percentage rate you know is is under 10 percent, and that's you know that's uh, that's acceptable to me so you know i i didn't i wasn't expecting a whole lot i was setting on sign but you know it just goes to show that you're always not going to catch everything so Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I thought it was kind of cool. You don't see many of them like it. Like I said, I'm not scared to show my failures along with my successes. Uh, anyway, so a couple quick things. If you guys uh, are interested, I've been running these spy point cameras now for about uh, six months or so. Very impressed with it. So this is the camera that I was using. This is a spy point flex. Um, I've used this thing in four states so far, had great signal in all the states. Um, you know, you can change, obviously, you can see, you can change from an app on your phone uh, in between video and, and photo. So pretty cool. Uh, I'll leave a link below, but this is a Spy Point um, Flex if you guys are interested in it. Really a great learning tool, honestly. Also, um, if you guys haven't heard, we've got, we've got apparel. We've got t-shirts and we've got hoodies. Uh, check them out down below. There'll be a link. Uh, I've also got the fur handling packages back up on Hoosier. So if you're, if you're wanting to do some fur handling, maybe some home tanning, stuff like that, that's a great option. We are just about to get slammed with a pretty good, pretty good storm, cold front. Um, a lot of uh, freezing weather, they're saying. So anyway, I busted out the old gas drill here. Uh, I got the pickup truck kind of loaded down with stuff. We're going to try to try to do some cool things over the next uh next week or so but yeah i got the got the gas drill out i think we're gonna need it with these temperatures they're calling for i think minus 30 wind chills um 
for a few days. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, do me a favor, hit that thumbs up. Uh, Leave a comment down below. We're having an issue again with shadow banning and everything else through YouTube. So I'm trying to do my best to bring you guys quality content that's still YouTube friendly, if you will. Um, but yeah, check out Apparel if you guys uh, would like to support the channel. Uh, game camera and Spy Point Flex, it'll be linked down below if you're interested. It's a great learning tool. But anyway, uh, I am going to bunker down the hatches. I got a little bit more firewood to split here before, uh, before we're going to hunker down for this big storm but anyway hope you all stay safe hope you all are having a great year hope you all are catching a lot of fur as always i appreciate the view and we'll see you on the next one